G'day, it's another day working in the shed. Um, I'm going to be chasing down some electrical faults on this thing. Well, the electrical faults that are stopping it from running. Feel free to drop a comment in the, uh, in the comment section if you think I'm making a mess of this testing. And I probably am. This is not my forte. Uh, way too many wires in this car for my liking. And if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button and uh, the like button, the like button really helps. Back on the 80 for the moment. So I got that wiring loom all reinstalled. Still have some problems. I do have some good parts about this. I now have power to the coil and to the igniter. So I've got no power running to the fuel pump relay. I also have no power running to the fuel pump resistor. I've done a fair bit of testing on this electrical system and I've uh, found a few things that are going to point me hopefully in the right direction. Let me show you what I've found so far. In here, this is the, um, it's an OBD1 port, test port. Should have a, an earth, a ground there. That should be, that's ground. This first port here is the fuel pump terminal. That should not be going to ground. That is going to ground. We have a dead short on that still and on this middle one sometimes it gives me gives me that little bit it shouldn't be doing any of that either all right next spot to check is the fuel pump relay connection to see whether the ports there are going to ground as well so let's have a quick look at that okay so this is the plug that goes to the fuel pump relay that's the fuel pump relay clicks in there hides in behind that. Let's see what's going to ground. What I should have here, this is the black red, that should go to ground. And it does. The next one I'm going to check is the center one here, which is the red white. The red white is the power to the relay, the main power to the relay. These other two are outputs. So that shouldn't be going to ground. That should be going to power. Damn. Oh, well, at least it's given me an idea of where I need to be looking. Another test I've just thought of doing. This 50 amp fuse directly powers the fuel pump relay. I should have continuity between this 50 amp fuse in the fuse box and the main power for the fuel pump relay. G'day, future me. Um, this part I'm talking about here is actually incorrect. There should be no direct connection between the 50 amp fuse and the fuel pump relay power. That is all controlled by the main power relay, which is located inside the car. With that said, there shouldn't be any resistance between those two points. So what I am about to test is between these terminals in the power box, the fuse box, relay box, whatever you want to call it, between there and the main power input to the fuel pump relay. Give this a go. And let's see if we get anything here. We do. We have 75.2 kilo ohms of resistance. So we do have continuity, but we have a dead short. We shouldn't have, we should only have about there shouldn't be any resistance between those two points. So definitely there's a short between those two points to ground. All right, so I've done a fairly extensive amount of testing in here. Uh, everything is uh, basically pointing to a short within the body loom somewhere. I suppose the next step is to get in under the dash, disconnect all the connectors from the body loom running to the rest of the vehicle. Uh, that'll isolate whether the problem's in the engine bay or within the uh, loom, somewhere else within the car. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this, but uh, it's just what I'm gonna have to do. One other thing I'm gonna check is just see what's happening with this 60 amp fuse. So I'll pull that out, get that out of the way. I'm fairly certain I'm gonna get similar results. All right, so this should not be going to ground at all. All right, so we're plugged in to our ground negative negative terminal of the battery. The negative terminal that would go to the battery if the battery was in it. Let's get in here. Yep, yeah, I'm seeing exactly the same thing. So the main power feed has 
a short of sorts to it. Not enough to blow fuses, but the short may even be on the battery side of the battery side of this. So, um, well, that would make sense. It would make sense that the short is on the battery side of the of of this terminal block because it's not blowing any fuses. It's exactly the same exactly the same result going from the main power terminal into here. So that's that's that terminal there, and then test on that terminal. That's also going to ground. That terminal's going to ground, and any of these other direct powered fuses that I'm testing all have the same problem. So I might take a little punt here. Yeah, I did say that I think it's in the in in the body loom, which is this is part of the body loom. This is the power. Um, I'm going to take a little punt and see that it's between this box and that power terminal. Where is it? That terminal there. That could also, if that runs down directly to the alternator. So if I disconnect the alternator, or if it's anywhere between this point here, this point here, and this point here. I reckon it's within this section of loom. I'm taking a guess, but before I start pulling everything apart, pull this whole loom out of the car and disconnect it from the rest of the vehicle, that's what I'm going to check. So I'm actually thinking to confirm what I believe to be the case here, is if I disconnect this main power feed from the fuse block, that should get rid of all of the shorts that I'm seeing on the rest of this stuff in here. If that's the case, then I'm definitely back in this section of the loom. Okay, so here's my main power feed. So let's just check things here. On the main power feed, we have none there. Okay, testing the wire itself, we do have a problem. Okay, there's one thing. Uh, let's try these other leads. Okay, so we do have some ground issues there but not on as many of them. So I'm not gonna get distracted by these uh, anomalies. Uh, we'll have to chase them down later. There's something else. All right, so let's sort this issue with this one, which has massive resistance going to ground. That most definitely should not be going to ground. All right, so I'm just gonna check on the alternator and see if I have the same problem there yes I do next step I suppose I'm going to disconnect the alternator uh, and then retest the wiring again problem could actually be inside the alternator hey future me again okay good old GoPro delivered me some uh, corrupted files so I'm just going to redo a couple of bits and pieces here it's, um, yeah sort of makes the video make a little bit of sense I think so I have disconnected the alternator and let's just test alternator lead to ground. Nothing. I'm not seeing now yeah, I don't I'm not sure whether this is because I've moved some wires around and it's broken whatever the whatever was going to ground or it was the it's the alternator that's a problem. But I'm not getting any in the ground there but I do go directly and now I'm getting absolutely nothing so I've disturbed all these wires and I reckon I've I've unshorted the short somehow so I've in, in moving these looms around because I was getting I was getting a short between there and not there it's a good chance that it's just in this area here so now I'm even more confused than I was before. As I've been editing this video, um, I've found that I've made some assumptions that aren't quite correct. And that's in how the power feeds to the fuel pump relay. 
Um, that actually comes from main power relay, which sits underneath the right hand side, underneath the driver's side in Australia. Um, that switch is on, feeds power to here. I shouldn't be getting any direct continuity from this 50 amp fuse to the fuel pump relay plug. I suppose the next step is just going to be, I'm just going to open this up in this section, see if I can see anything there. If not, I might even just have to pull the whole loom out, go over the whole loom. Chances are that there is a short inside the vehicle which is going to be behind the dash, which is going to be a right pain in the poo popper. I've had enough. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, and uh, maybe we'll get this thing run on one of these days.